So hello everyone, welcome back on another video on Excel Signal Processor. In this video, we are going to learn about the rotatory encoder and uh, the interfacing of the rotatory encoder with the C2000 microcontroller. And uh, this code is applicable to all C2000 microcontroller and uh, if you are having any kind of a controller, this code is suitable and this logic is suitable for all kind of microcontroller for the rotatory encoder. So, before starting the video, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please go and subscribe the channel. Now, to implement the rotatory encoder and to interface the rotatory encoder with C2000 microcontroller, we have to create a project. And the project name which we have given is the rotatory encoder and uh, we have included all the necessary files that is required to successfully completion of this project so before starting this video we will see how the rotatory encoder will look like and uh, what will be the circuit connections to interface your rotatory encoder with c2000 microcontrollers so this is the rotatory encoder which is having three pins and uh, the name of the pins are pin a pin B and uh, the middle pin is the ground pin. So it is having the pin A, pin B and uh, the ground pin and that needs to be connected with the C2000 microcontroller GPIO pins. And uh, how to interface this with the C2000 microcontroller? So this is the uh, basic block of the rotary encoder and it is having the pin A and the pin B and the ground pin. So when this is this need to be connected with the C2000 microcontroller or any kind of the microcontroller, uh, we have to connect a register and the register is connected with the power supply uh, and the register is connected with the A pin and the B pin. So it will be it will be act as a Pull up registers and that keeps the A and B pin as a high positions. So whenever it is uh, uh, the rotary encoder is rotating either in the clockwise direction and anti-clockwise directions. Uh, in this case, it will uh, make the B to zero or A to zero. So by default, it will be high, and when you are rotating it in the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction, it will be kind of the pulses, and the pulses will be in the form of 50% duty cycles. So you can see that uh, uh, the, there will be A and uh, the pulses will be B when we are moving in the anti-clockwise directions. So how to recognize that pulses will be either in the clockwise direction, we are rotating the rotary encoder in the clockwise direction or anti-clockwise directions. So you can see the reference which we are taking that is uh, uh, pin A in the both the case and we are looking at the rising edge of the pin A or a falling edge of the uh, pin A and uh, during the clockwise direction and as well as the anti-clockwise direction. So when uh, when the pin A is uh, rising as uh, and uh, when it will be the high states during rising edge and when it will be high states the state of the B will be looked at and when the state of A was the 1 in this case you can see that uh, it will be moving as anti-clockwise direction. So in this case, if the state of A and the state of the B will remain the same, and when we are looking at the uh, falling edge of the A pin, during that case it will be zero, and the B pin will also have a magnitude of zero. So if the during rising edge or the falling edge, if the A and B states are the same it will be act as a uh, anti-clockwise directions and uh, when the state of A and B are different during the falling age and the rising age you can say that it will be moving in the clockwise directions. So you can see that when A is rising and the state of the A will be 1, in this case the state of the B is 0 and uh, when a is falling and it will be at a zero and the b will be uh, at one position so both are different 
if the state is if the state of the a and b are different not not similar it will be moving in the clockwise direction and otherwise it will be moving in the anti clockwise direction now this logic we will be implementing in the quad composer studio for c2000 microcontrollers so here uh, we have written the code for uh, rotary encoder and we have included all the necessary files and we have included all the header files that is required for uh, successfully completion of this project so now here what we are doing we are rotating the rotary encoder in the clockwise and anti clockwise directions and uh, we are printing the directions whether the rotary encoder is rotating in the clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction along with the position on the serial bus okay so the serial communication interface we have used the polling method so if you haven't watched the serial communication interface using polling method you can watch this video and the link is given in the description box so that what extra thing we have to include in this one we have to add the gpio interface for rotary encoder because we have to connect the pin a b and ground with the c2000 microcontroller that is we are having the launch pad 28790 so first what we will do we will see the uart pin initialization in this one we have included the gpio 0 and gpio 1 as the input pins okay so this is the gpag mux dot bit dot gpio 0 that is 0 and uh, the mux 1 dot bit dot gpio 0 equal to 0 so this will be configuring the gpio 0 as a input and this lines will be configuring the gpio 1 as a input pin okay that is that will be used as a general purpose input output pins so now the thing is uh, we have to define the directions uh, whether we want to use the GPIO pins as the input pins and we want to use that as the output pins. So in this case we are connecting the rotary encoder with the input of uh, that will be input of the our launch pad. So directions of the GO and 1 will be considered as 0. Anyhow by default all the GPIO pin will be the input pins and you can configure as output by defining the directions so now we have next we have made the pull up disable bit as equals to zero so this will be configuring the uh, gpio pins as a uh, input pin and uh, for uh, for rotary encoder and the pin number 18 and 19 we have used the serial uh, uh, as serial communication interface and b module so now what we will do we will see the logic of uh, the uh, rotary encoder and we have connected the uh, pin number a and pin number b of the rotary encoder to the gpio 0 and 1 and uh, we have to re read the status of the pin gpio 0 and gpio 1 so how to read the status of the gpio 0 and gpio 1 and uh, that is help of this uh, code of line so you can say that uh, gpio data registers dot gpa dat gpa dat that is data register dot bit dot gpio and this will be 0 and 1 and this status we are transferring to the this variable that is current state a and uh, the gpio 0 data state we are storing in the current state b so now uh, whether it is the, our encoder is rotating in the clockwise or anti clockwise direction if the current state of a is not equal to the last state of the a and uh, the current state of the b is not equal to the last state of the b so if we see that uh, if there is no state change right uh, if a state is constant that means your rotary encoder is not moving if uh, if it is always zero or always one that means our encoder is not moving either in the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction that is that is a constant only if the state of the current state and the last state is not same that it means that the rotary encoder is rotating so once this condition is true now what we will do we will see the uh, current state of the a that should not be equal to the last state of a and uh, if this is uh, true then 
uh, we will see that if current state of the B is not equal to the current state of the A. So this will be moving the rotary encoder in the clockwise directions. And once we know the, it is moving in the clockwise directions, then we are increasing the encoder position by one. And uh, the limit also we have considered. If you want to keep the limits, you can keep the limits. And uh, and uh, whatever encoder position is there, we are transferring and we are printing on the serial bus. So we are using encoder is moving in the clockwise directions, and the position is percent D, and uh, that is encoder position. And if this condition is not true, then we will go to the else conditions, and the else condition we are decreasing the encoder position minus 1 and we will see the encoder is moving in the clockwise direction and position is that is encoder position and we are printing on the serial and the current state of the A and current state of the B we are storing in the last state of the A and last state of the B so this will be continuously updating and in a while loop now the uh, everything will be remain the same for the serial communications so this is the serial communication interfacing code for uh, module b and uh, and that is the initialization of the scib initializations and this is for transferring the data uh, on over the serial uh, terminals so if you have watched this video you can check the video on the link is given in the description box now what we will do we will Build this project. Now build has finished and we will debug this project. Now the build has been finished. Now we will run this project and uh, we will open the terminal first. So we have opened the terminal and uh, we have connected the uh, our serial pin. Now you can see that. Uh, this is the board which we have connected and uh, the GPIO pins uh, that is uh, 18 and 19 are connected with the, the serial TTL converters and uh, and this is we are having the rotary encoder and these are the registers which we have connected with the rotary encoder and uh, the 3.3 volts which we have connected here and the GPIO 0 and 1 is connected to down. So now what we will do, we will rotate this in the clockwise direction and you can see that there is the changing in the position that is clockwise direction. So we are moving it in the clockwise directions. So now what we will do, we are moving in, it into the anti-clockwise direction and you can see that uh, encoder is moving in anti-clockwise directions and uh, it is showing the position so we have made the limit if it is less than zero it should be zero so now again we are increasing and you can see that it is moving in the clockwise directions so uh, this is a word about the C rotary encoder and you can implement this rotary encoder for your project and uh, thanks for watching the controller's knowledge and if you have subscribed my channel please go and subscribe the channel for the latest update thank you